as they say in the wild wild west uh, let's get us some similar triangles similar triangles are when you have a small triangle like this we'll call this the baby triangle we have a small triangle and we also have a corresponding triangle that's bigger we might call it the daddy triangle because it's bigger All right. and on the baby triangle we have something like this side's like three and we're trying to figure out how much bigger this side is now let's say in a similar triangle this side is going to be a certain times smaller than this triangle than this side this of the same side on the corresponding side let's say that the daddy triangle is three times as big as this baby triangle so we have to multiply it by three so we have to do three times three to get this side and three times three of course is nine so this this multiplication that we have to do three times three is all we're saying is that this side is three times smaller than this side or this side is three times bigger than this side so if, if this side over here were to be let's say five and we wanted to figure out the corresponding side over here let me redo that uh, in orange the, the corresponding side over here would also have to be multiplied by three five times something to get to this side and it's five times three which is fifteen in the same way let's say this other side just happens to be seven in order to get from there to the corresponding side over here we have to multiply again by three three times seven is twenty one I did the wrong color uh, three times seven is twenty one so you can see the basic idea of similar triangles, this is what we're doing here, it's called similar triangles. We are trying to figure out from a little triangle to a, big, to a bigger triangle what the scale factor is. The scale factor is whatever you have to multiply by to get to the bigger one. So this scale factor of this, of, uh, this triangle is 3. Um, and you might say, and, and, and if you look at it, the, the way you know that the scale factor is you divide the big one by the small one. And if we do that here, let me get a new color. If we do that here, if we do 9 divided by 3, like 9 here divided by 3 here, we get 3. Same thing over here. If we do 21 divided by the smaller side, 21 divided by 7, that also equals 3. And so we know that the scale factor, which is the bigger side divided by the smaller side, is always is going to be the same for all three sides when we're doing similar triangles. So let me uh, erase this and show you one more example. And uh, we'll see how it works. So let's get another little baby triangle here. And another real big triangle. Let's say this side's 2 and this side's 10. This side's uh, three, and this side's uh, fifteen, and this side is uh, let's just go with six, just for the heck of it. And we have to figure out what this side is. We don't know what this side is. So first, let's look at the scale factor. We have this side going to this side and we have to multiply 2 times something to get to 10 and we know that 2 times 5 equals 10 2 times 5 equals 10 and in the same way 3 times 5 equals 15 so we know to find the to find this other side we're going to have to multiply 6 times 5 which equals 30 and we know the scale factor is 5 because if we take our 10 right here and divide it by the other corresponding side here 10 divided by 2 equals 5 and that is kind of a short introduction to similar triangles